Baikar, the company that has redefined the drone industry and made Turkey a prominent player in global defense technology, is taking bold steps to expand its capabilities and navigate the complex world of supply chains. Known worldwide for its high-performance combat drones, Baycar is now looking to ramp up in-house production and invest in groundbreaking new technologies. So, what are they working on, and how will it impact the future of defense? Baycar's drones like the Bayraktar TB2 and the heavier Akinci have gained international acclaim for their role in various conflict zones, from Ukraine and Azerbaijan to North Africa. As of now, Baikar's combat drones are active in over 35 countries, making the company one of the top drone exporters in the world. In a recent interview at the Esaha Defense Exhibition in Istanbul, Baikar's CEO Haluk Bayraktar shared the company's latest strategy for overcoming supply chain challenges. With a global shortage of critical components impacting the defense industry, Baikar is bringing as much component production in-house as possible and one area they're prioritizing is engine development. Bakar has pledged a massive $300 million investment to develop its own engines over the next five years. Initially, they'll work on a turboprop engine for the Akinci drone, and this will be followed by a turbofan engine for Baykar's most advanced project, the unmanned fighter jet Kizilelma. Currently, Akinci and Kizilelma use engines made in Ukraine, but Baykar is moving toward greater self-reliance. They recently signed an agreement with Ukraine's Ivchenko Progress to co-develop a new turbofan engine. Baykar's long-term vision, however, goes beyond engines. Haluk Bayraktar believes that the future of air combat will be dominated by autonomous drones. He sees a world where piloted fighter jets are a thing of the past, replaced by unmanned air-to-air -air combat drones. With over 13,000 piloted fighter jets globally today, Baikar envisions that, in the next 40 years, autonomous drones will replace them. These drones will be more agile, able to take on riskier missions, and will be produced in significantly higher numbers. Baikar is also investing beyond Turkey. Construction is nearly complete on a new manufacturing facility in Ukraine. Scheduled to open in August 2025, the plant is expected to produce TB-2 drones and a heavier variant, the TB-3, designed for maritime operations. The TB-3 is a significant upgrade, with folding wings that make it perfect for Turkey's first aircraft carrier, the TCG Anadolu, which is also recognized as the world's first drone carrier. Baykar's innovations have not only reshaped the battlefield, but also boosted the company's financial performance. Last year, they reached $2 billion in revenue, with 90% coming from international markets. The company now makes up roughly a third of Turkey's total defense and aerospace exports. As Baykar continues to push the boundaries of drone technology, it's clear that the future of air combat is rapidly changing. With advancements in autonomy, in-house production, and global expansion, Baycar is positioning itself as a leader in the next generation of aerial defense. Only time will tell how these changes will reshape the global landscape. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on the latest in defense and aerospace, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications. See you next time.